When I think of Mike Matsuda, the words that come to mind are courage and compassion. He is a compassionate leader himself, and he has deep compassion for the students and families that he serves. I decided on the career path because my parents were put in internment camps in World War II. My mom would have graduated from Anaheim High School, but as a teenager, uh, there was a lot of discrimination and prejudice. So as a young child, I was exposed to all of that during the Vietnam War. As I grew into adulthood, I wanted to help young people like myself and my parents and those who are marginalized. He has this great ability to balance the big picture vision and operationalize that into specific actions to actually get you to that vision. So the focus is not on how do we get every kid to score well in a test. The focus is on how do we really support young people holistically in all aspects of their life. And he says the results will take care of itself. Well, over the past five years, we've impacted 15,000 students. And our students are really prepared for the University of California and beyond the world of work, because oftentimes the focus is just on college readiness. Ours is about career and life success, which are different drivers. So I think that's a very, very important shift that we're making in education. He is truly a courageous leader, not afraid to take risks and try new things. The common thread for him in every decision that he makes is what is best for kids. That's his North Star and uh, we've been really, really privileged to be able to work with him. The guiding light in the way that I lead is really through the students. We're a very impacted urban district. We have a lot of challenges. And to see their resilience and their unconditional love despite all of these challenges, we adults have a lot to learn from that. I really believe that this next generation, Generation Z, is going to be the most compassionate, most loving, most inclusive generation in America. And they truly are capable of changing the world.